Hey fellow Blender Maniacs, this is Alex Cordobard for BlenderMania3D.com and in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to make engravings into objects using normal maps and also making those normal maps so that we can engrave. Here you can see that I've engraved BlenderMania 3D onto these bullets and you can use this for text engraving or logo engraving or whatever you want. As you can see here, you could use this technique to engrave into wood, either a logo or engrave letters or text into a ring or even engrave a design. It doesn't have to be text. You could engrave whatever you want using this technique. And it's using normal maps, so it's not going to use it's not going to be geometry intensive. How cool is that? All right, let's get right to it. I'm sure you're dying to know how to do this. First thing you need to do is create a black and white image of what you want to engrave. So here I've used Photoshop, you can use GIMP, Photoshop, Paint, whatever you want. You just need a black and white image. The white part is the part that won't be engraved and the black part is the part that's going to be engraved. Alright, once you have that, go ahead and save that image. And we're going to go back into Blender, into a new file. And you can use this technique to actually create normal maps for other reasons than engraving. Just using normal maps to add detail. So it's really, really cool. Here we're going to delete the default cube, shift A, add a mesh plane. And we're going to create the normal map here that we're going to be using for the engraving. Go ahead and go to the modifiers tab, add modifier, and we're going to add in a displace modifier. Click new to add a new texture, and then go to the texture tab right here, and you guessed it, we're going to open up our texture of our engraving that we made in Photoshop. So go ahead and open up that texture. You can see it's the black and white image that we made. And now nothing is happening because we only have so many vertices on our plane. Hitting tab to go into edit mode, right click, subdivide. On the bottom left, change the number of cuts to 100 million. No, I'm just kidding, just 100. And now if we go to object mode, boom, we have engraving to the max. That's a little intense. Imagine a ring like that. All right. Let's bump this down a little bit. Going to the strength right here, we're going to put this to 0 0.02. Like that. And now we need to add some detail to it because it's very bumpy. We're going to add a modifier, subdivision surface, and bring it above the displacement modifier by hitting the arrow. Cool. Now it's still pretty uh, grainy. What I'm going to do is hit tab to go into edit mode, right click, subdivide one more time, and then right click, subdivide one other time. Now depending on how your computer is, you could subdivide it even more, or even bump up the subdivision in the viewport to a higher number. But for now, I'm going to leave it like this, click apply on the subdivision surface, and apply on the displacement modifier. Cool. Now just right click, shade smooth. All right, our plane is ready to create our normal map now. Go ahead and split the viewport. Go to the UV editor, and we're going to click New to create a new image, and this is where our normal map will be baked to. We're going to name this Normal 5. I'm just going to name it 5. And let's change the resolution of this to 248. Whoa, that's 238. 248 by 248 and then click OK. So now we got this black texture or image right here and for it to bake onto here what we need to do is go to the materials tab click new and we actually need to add this texture or this image onto the material so that Blender knows to bake it to this material and to this image specifically. Here on base color we're going to change it to image texture and select the drop down, select the normal five image texture that we have. Now we need to go to the render settings, change it to cycles. And once you change it to cycles, we have this bake option here. Mmm, baking. Who doesn't like baking? We're going to be baking some normal maps here. We're going to change the bake type from combined to normal as we are baking some normal maps. And we're going to change the space from tangent to object since we're baking from an object. All right, now all we have to do is click bake and give it a time. You might get some errors right here or information, but 
it will work and it will pop up right here and check it out we have created a normal map how sweet is that now let's save this image image save as and go ahead and save it i'm going to save it as engraving tut 2 and save the image all right now let's go ahead and engrave ladies and gentlemen with a new blender scene go ahead and delete the cube shift a we're going to add in a plane and go ahead and add a material new let's change the color of this to a goldish color kind of like the bullets in the beginning of the video and then split the viewport change this to the shader editor I'm gonna hit the N key to close this window shift a add texture image texture and go ahead and click open open up that normal map we just made here I'm gonna change it to the EV rendered viewport shading by clicking on the fourth sphere there and now all we have to do is input the color here into the normal and boom nothing happens because we need to do a couple more things firstly let's hit shift a add vector normal map to tell blender this is a normal map and boom check it out also one other thing let's change this from rgb to non-color as it's a non-color data image and look at that we have just engraved the name or the texture onto this plane and again this is only four vertices so it's not geometry intensive now you could increase or decrease the strength of the normal map right here with the strength and check it out how sweet is that let's change this to a metallic color go to the rendered viewport or to the render settings turn on screen space reflections to make it reflect and I'm going to turn the roughness down a little bit and then I'm just going to go to the world settings under color I'm going to add an environment texture and I'm going to open up uh, HDRI right there check it out how cool is that sweet now we could add engravings to whatever we want now of course for the bullets same exact techniques just you have to model the bullets or model whatever you want and of course play around with the material and everything this was pretty quick just to show you the engraving part of it now one other thing I want to quickly show you is if you want to add the engraving to a specific location on your model let's go ahead and add in a UV sphere bring it over here right click shade smooth then under the materials tab I'm just gonna select the same material as our plane and now let's say I want to add the engraving just right here well all we have to do is hit tab to go into edit mode U and unwrap it then go to over here UV editor and you can see that our sphere is on the whole uh, on the whole text right here what we're gonna do is just scale this down and place it somewhere where there's no text and then go into face select mode three on your keyboard and go ahead and select let's say these faces right here with those faces selected you can see that they're now selected over here and then I'm just gonna hit s to scale those up bring them here and place them above the engraving so now check it out we have the engraving just on this location right there so of course you could play around with the unwrappings with the location of the UVs etc to get the engraving exactly where you want all right, that's it for this tutorial. Head on over to BlenderMania3D.com. Share your work there. Post on the forums if you need help. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Au revoir.